Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are opening a Goodwill blue box. This box is from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I ordered this on May the 28th and it was delivered on June the 3rd. And I am opening it today, June the 7th, I believe. Um, I brought out my scale so we can take a little look and see so much it weighs. So it weighs five ounce, five pounds, five ounces. All right. I always like to check, um, you know, just to see. I swear, like, my first box was light, but I don't know. But, um, yeah. I have buckets to organize. So, I'm going to briefly explain what's going on here. So, I have three buckets. One is to sell online. One is a bucket that, thing like, things I can think I might be able to get a dollar or two for... Like at a garage sale, yard sale, rummage sale. Um, my aunt's church is going to do a rent a booth event where you rent a booth. Um, you just pay for table and you can, you know, basically a yard sale at their church. Um, and I might do that as well, depending on what day it is on. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get right on into this. If I didn't cut those in there. And let's try and make this video not an hour long. <laughs> um, I think all my videos seem to be at least an hour and a half long. So let's do first impressions. Okay, so no bag. Okay, what do you guys think? I see this is kind of cool. Um, this is pretty cool. Well, I think it's broken. Um, yeah, I mean, seems pretty good. Seems about the normal. This is my third Goodwill Blue Box. I have received, let me see if I can get some more space up here. Let me move a couple things around. Let's see if I do this here and this here. That better? I can't tell. Maybe. Now stick this to the side and let's open. Okay. Just a little handful. Hey guys, um, I'm not sure if you already noticed, I'm sure you did. Ooh, just move the camera a little bit. Um, the Google Blue Boxes are $34.99 plus $5 shipping. So I paid about, whoop, hold up. Okay, sorry guys, you guys came right out of my tripod. <laughs> um, oh my, I don't know why you're falling. You're on. Okay. Not sure what's going on there for a second. Um, oh, Lord, I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, um, so this box was $34.99 plus $5 shipping, so all in $40, and it is five pounds of jewelry. So this is the first thing. It's already, I can already tell it's broken. Um, not sure if you can see that. One of the rings is broken. Um, and the gold tone is coming off. Um, I feel like this is craft. This will probably go into B dot. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my first video or my second video. And I do different craft lots. So I will do a, um, regular craft lot, broken jewelry, stuff like that. Um, a B lot. So I'm trying to like divide it and then jewelry I can get a couple dollars for anywhere from like a dollar to five dollars and then anything I can think I can get more than five dollars for go in this bucket. So we have this little 
gold tone. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. Hold up, guys. Let me put... Okay, sorry guys. I moved the camera slightly, so it's not quite the same as was before. So we have this little little blank, a little bracelet, a little filigree. It's cute. Um, it doesn't have much wear on it, so that's good. Um, I don't recognize this tea. So if you know the brand for that, please let me know. It's a tea. I don't know if that's Talbot's or what. There's no markings on the clasp. So yeah, we have that. Not sure why. There we go. Okay. This looks like it's marked. It's also very, very crusted. And everything else. And guys, I craft. So um, I'm also looking for things to sell, but I'm also looking for things to craft with. So this is actually seems pretty nice. It's like a glass. Yeah, it's glass with like these cool little things on it. Let me check the clasp. It is marked. I don't think this is silver. Could be mistaken. It's marked something on the clasp in several spots. Let me, let me get my magnifying glass. Definitely marked something. Well, guys, I don't know what this is marked, but it's marked something. I it might be silver. I don't know. But this chain is marked. Let me let me see if you guys can see that. But it's marked right on the right, let me fix it, it's hooked on the wire. It's marked right here. It's also marked on the spring right here, I think, no, right here. And it's also marked on this side. So I do not know what that says. Hmm. It's definitely marked something, I just don't know what. I don't know. I will put this aside to the cell or you know, I'll put it right here in the look up pile and I will give you guys an update on that hopefully. I'll actually move these out of the way. That way they're not out here. They ain't coming in this lot. Alright, let's move on. That took way too long. I don't want to take too long on these. No time can get away from me. No, well, I can already tell, I can already know where this is going to go. This is going to one of my friends for sure. I don't think this is anything. Yeah, this is going to one of my good friends. She loves stars. And that is adorable. I'm definitely putting that to the side for her. I don't think there's any markings on it. Just do a little quick search on it. No, there's no markings. 
It's a really pretty star and moon necklace over there. We have a pen. Yep. It's a mul um, ultra craft. Ultra craft. I believe that says ultra craft. I have personally never heard of that brand. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's cool. I will look it up. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have more of these little hang tags on it. It's kind of interesting. I think it's supposed to be like a writing pen. I'll look it up. And this, again, I don't know what that T stands for. So, I don't think this is gold or anything. It's not marked. Where's the magnet? It's very magnetic. So, I'll put that in the dollar pile. Or a couple dollar pile. So I don't think I would be able to get much for it online. We have a single earring. Oh, I forgot to get a bowl for single earrings. Oh, I'll just stick them over here to the side. Hopefully I don't lose them. Let me move some stuff around. I need to get a, um, a loop. Let me... Okay, so we have an earring. It looks like stuck inside. Elsie. Um, I know it could be Liz Claiborne or Lauren Conrad, but this looks newer. I think this is an, a Lauren Conrad piece, not a Liz Claiborne. Plus, Lauren Conrad does put a little crystal on the back of her stuff. So I'm going to put that as a single. So hopefully we find a match. I found this. It's interesting. It's monogrammed. But I'm not sure what the monogram is. It's empty. No markings on it that I can see. It is nice. Um, I need to figure out the design, what it is, and then I think this actually might be something I would sell online. Right? A little locket? I think that's something I would sell online. So this beaded piece doesn't look like it's marked. I thought maybe like a Chico's or something. It feels like a Chico's piece. But it is not marked. But it is really cute. This is something I would sell at a garage sale. And I would probably get like $3 or so for it. Really, really pretty beads. So yeah, garage sale piece. This looks like maybe like an Ann Taylor loft or something. Oh, look, we have a match. Look guys, we have a match of earrings. Um, oh no, I lied. <laughs> it's a single earring. It's a single earring. It's actually pretty cute. Um, what are we doing? I'm trying to um, this piece. This is a... It's a New York and company. Okay, so like right around those lines of Ann Taylor. Okay, this is actually kind of cute, guys. Um, what do you guys think? It's kind of backwards. I think it goes this way. That's pretty cute. I think this is something I would sell online. It's in pretty good shape. Yeah, I would I would so feel comfortable selling that online. Yeah, that is definitely something I would sell online. Here we have a little earring. Not marked, that I can tell. I usually don't go too in-depth with the earrings until after I have matches. Ouch. Just whacked my head on the camera tripod. tripod. Oh, this is actually backwards. So this is the front these little crystals and this is the back I had it reversed okay we have a little bead earring oh this is fun it looks like it's falling apart but we have a little Buddha Buddha head um it is falling apart unfortunately or this would be something I would sell um yeah that's craft A 
adjust you guys a little bit. This looks like it's marked. Michael Zed. Michael something. I can't. It's all one piece. It's like a little faux druzy. Okay, let's untangle this and then. Oh, this is Mart too. Okay. Come on. This is really stuck in here, guys. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how this got stuck. Okay. you guys been? You guys do anything fun over the weekend? Okay. I didn't do much. We did my dad's birthday and this is marked with an N. Just an N. That's it. And it's this like fringe. It's a little fringe piece. Interesting. I think I would get a dollar or two for that. I don't know what N means, but I'm sure it's some kind of maker. Smart. And this is like a little druzy. Uh, I'll put that in a dollar. Two dollars. Okay. Okay. Darn. This is missing stones. Man, that's too bad because this is really cute. And it was smart. It was smart. Michael. Oh, let me focus you. Michael Vedrin? V E G R I M? I don't know. But it's going into craft, and I will definitely craft with that myself. There we go. Okay. I think we were looking at this before I got distracted. It's not marked on the back. It's not marked on the chain, but it is very pretty. Um, don't see any missing stones. I will go over it again um, with a magnifying glass just to double check. But yeah, I'll put that on the dollar pile. Or not dollar, but anything I put in this box, I'll get anywhere from a dollar to five dollars for. Usually. Oh, look, here's a little bee that went with that rhinestone. This is actually marked something on the back, so I'm going to get that out. This is marked as well, so let's do this. This is gorgeous. This is marked. This is marked Japan, so it's vintage. Or Japan. Oh, guys, I didn't realize how nasty my hands looked. Ew. No maker's mark, just Japan. Um, looks like it's a little tangled at the moment. But I believe it goes, it goes like that, maybe? I don't know. That's pretty. I would do it's three strand. I'm thinking maybe five dollars on that. Okay, we have a little black bead. Plastic, it feels like. This feels very cheap. Um I would do a couple dollars on that. this piece doesn't look like it's marked and if maybe it was like gold filled or something um so black and gold breeded 
cord. I would do a couple dollars on that. I'm hoping to get some cool rings, guys. I, I'm a ring guy. I like rings. Um, yeah. This is not marked. Again, this one's um, a black and gold twisted cord. I would do a couple dollars on that. And if you guys are... Oh, wow. This is awesome. I wonder if this is one of those... Um, oh, it's marked on the inside. Nope, it's just dirty. Um, I think these are one of those where you... Oh, yep. Oh, man, I dropped it. Darn it. Okay. Um, I'll get it. But it's one of those elephant necklaces where you take out the back and you put a piece of howlite inside and you put like your essential oil. Um, you can put like aromatherapy in it. And I don't think this is silver. No, it doesn't. Maybe it's silver plated. I don't know. But um, the, the piece of howlite that was in it fell on the floor. This I will definitely sell online. Um, I'd probably do like $10 on that. Unless I look it up and it's like not worth it. Then whatever it is worth. So we have vintage. We have some vintage pearl. Faux pearl. Um, very nice. Tied in between. Unfortunately the one in the back is pretty messy. There's some scratches on it. Um. They're really pretty, and they have a nice weight to it. I would definitely sell that for a couple dollars. You're not focused. There we go. Okay, what's this? This is a big old thing. And probably not marked either. Yep, not marked. Big chunker of a necklace. Sea bead. I'll do a couple dollars on that. Uh, we have a little AB crystal cross. That is tangled up in some other necklaces. Let's get that out. There we go. So we have this pretty little AB crystal with like a brassy gold tone finish. Oh, it's marked on the bottom. It's marked with a W. Now, I don't know that brand, but if you do, please let me know. Um, I don't think this is like silver. I wouldn't think they would put silver with AB crystals. No. Okay, so I don't think this is silver or anything. Um, but it is marked with a W on the back. I will do a Google image search and see what comes up. That I will put in the sell for more than five dollars in online. This gives me like Claire's vibes. Let's see. Charming Charlie's. Okay, so not too far off. Mark CH. I believe that is Charming Charlie. Um, honestly, I don't even know if I can get a couple dollars. I'll, I'll put a dollar on it. I was interested. Um, if you see something that you're interested in, let me know. Um, I charge a flat rate $5 shipping. And that doesn't matter if you buy one thing or ten things. As long as it is under a pound, it is five dollars to ship. This is unmarked. It's pretty though. It's very 80s, vintage inspired. Um, gold chain. I'll do a dollar or two on that. I'll do two dollars on that. This we have some very cheaply made earrings. Ooh, I like this. It's a little tree of life with crystals all around it. Oh, and it's marked. It is marked. S steel, so I believe that means stainless steel. And that's it. So it's just marked stainless steel. So one side's plain and one side is very bedazzled. I would do... I'll look that up. I don't think this is something that'd be high dollar, but it might be actually something, you know, to sell online. Okay, this is Mart C, so Charming Charlie. Maybe I got the other, maybe that little black necklace wasn't Charming Charlie. Maybe that was Claire's. It was Mark CH. I know Charming Charlie is CC. 
I don't know. But, um, I would do a dollar on that from Charlie Peace. Oh, I've never seen a bangle, like a hexagon bangle. That is really cool. Huh. A couple bucks. Oh, look, we have the match to those earrings. I will probably end up giving these to my aunt if she likes them. Because I don't think I'll get much for them online. Um, but if she wants them, I'll give them to her. If not, I will just put them in with the pile to sell at a yard sale. These are really pretty. I wonder if this is like a gold over or a, like a gold wash over silver. It's not marked. I'm really shocked. I would think this would be something. We have this little earring. Not marked on the back. I'll go over the earrings again, um, especially when I go to um, put them on card backs. I'm going to start making my own ear backings, not ear backings, but like card backs, like cardstock paper. And so that's interesting. It's not, it's not bad. It's cute. It looks like all the dangles are there. So that's good. It's not marked. Um, I would do a dollar on that. This, I believe, was marked. Yes, this is marked Genuine Pewter. This gorgeous etched pair of birds. Love birds, maybe even. Um, I'm assuming the quartz pewter, too, but I don't know that. Let's check for a magnet. It is very magnetic. The chain is not the... The chain is magnetic, but the um, pendant is not. This I would definitely sell online. I don't know for how much yet, but sell it online. This is VJ. Um, they are glass beads. So I don't know how much on that, but probably a couple dollars. I'll look up VJ just to see if it's worth anything more. But that style of jewelry usually only brings a couple dollars unless it's like a Premier Designs, and then that, I mean, Premier Designs does good, so, but that's not, it's a VJ. Okay, this is unmarked, it also has a little bit of wear on the back, the finish is wearing down, if you can see that, um, I'll do a couple dollars on that, two dollars maybe, oh, I might give this to my cousin. She likes to layer necklaces and bracelets, and this I feel like would be a really good layering piece. If she doesn't want it, I will sell it for you guys three dollars. Okay, that was the first handful. Let's get some more. earring over there. Oh look, we have a made in China tag. Let's see what this is. This is actually kind of cute. Um, it's very, very worn, unfortunately. Even though it's really nice. I mean, not really nice, but really cute. It is just extremely worn. Like, I'm pretty sure it's rusting. So, craft. Little bead earring. Oh, here we go. We have a, oh, okay. I like this a lot. A lot, a lot, actually. Um, there's an earring stuck there. I love this. Like, I absolutely love this. I, wow. And all the stones are there. I think. Kind of hard to see. Oh, it goes like this. No. A little confused on how the rhinestones go. Thing like that, maybe? I don't know if it's... Is it supposed to hang? I don't know how it goes, guys, but it is gorgeous, nonetheless. And it looks like all the stones are there. I love that. Is it marked? No markings that I can see, and I, I don't think this is... 
anything. Yeah, it's magnetic. Um, but yeah, that is something I would definitely sell for at least $10 online. Um, thought this might be something, but it's not. A little pearl rhinestone earring. This little moon. This feels interesting. Like, I don't know. It's, it's like pliable. I don't know. It's interesting. We got a little faux tribal earring. It's pretty. Not really sure if that's worth anything. But... Okay, this is really tangled. We'll do that. Let's do something else. We have a little earring. Oh, sorry guys. A um, little earring. It is magnetic. It's a magnet stuck to it. Um, no markings on it. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I see multiple things I like. Okay, let's do one at a time. Where is the end? Okay, there's no... There's no clasp, so I can't just unclasp it. Okay, so we'll, we'll have to move other things. Ooh, this is what looks like a Brighton piece. That right there. This is becoming a lot. Okay. You know what? Oh my goodness, guys. This is just... guys wow okay we got ooh, moving we have a really nice it's 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 worn quite a bit actually but guys we have a michael kors bracelet um i will clean this up and this will probably pay for the box if not really close like this is probably a good Oh wow, this actually kind of fits. I might. <laughs> it's not really my style. But that is probably a good $25 at least, I would say. If you guys are interested, I will do $20. Um, and all these prices are only good until I list them. Once they're listed, it's whatever I have them listed for on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy. Um, I don't have an eBay account yet, but I do have a Mercari and Poshmark and a Depop. Yeah, guys, this is awesome. That That's the best thing so far. Okay. We have the Spangle. Just check to see maybe if it's silver markings or anything. I don't see any. It is very pretty and ornate. But then I'll do $3 on that. I think we have a toe ring. I think it might 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 have been sort of plated. Hmm. It's interesting. Well, so yeah, I don't know about that. It's very magnetic too, so that's probably going to go in craft. Okay, so we have another bangle, and always check your bangle, guys. I haven't found one, but people do find sterling and gold bangles. That is nothing that I will save them and make a bundle and sell them in a bundle. Okay, that thing's still hooked, but okay. Finally have this untangled. It is a long faux pearl string. And it has this gold like tooth pendant. And then I can't tell if these are natural. Guys, are these real pearls? Guys, these might be real pearls. I can't. I don't know if that's the coating on them that are. Guys, I think this is these are real pearls. I could I could be 100% mistaken. But it feels like real pearls. Um 
The chain is not magnetic. None of this is magnetic, guys. I mean, watch. Nothing magnetic here. So I will do some further investigating on this piece. Okay. So we have dogs. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if that is supposed to mean something. I'm sure it meant something to someone. Maybe someone's last name was dogs, or maybe someone just had a lot of dogs. I don't know. Um, these are glass beads, guys. This probably might be silver plated or silver. I don't know, guys. This might. This actually might be silver. I will. Um, I need. To, I need to order a tester. I said I was going to order one in the last video, and I never did. They're expensive, guys. Like a good one's like thirty dollars. I found them on Amazon for like 25 but um, I'll put, mm, I need to test it, so I'll put it in here for now, but it might end up in the dollar pile if it ends up not being anything good. Okay, so we have some faux carved. This is called Robert Rose, made in China. Robert Rose, so it is branded. Um, it's a stretch. It's a nice stretch. Um... But like I said, it's faux carved plastic. Um, and there's some staining on it. I will look this up, and if it's something really good, I'll list it and just disclose that the coloring is a little off. But if it's only a couple dollars, then it's just going to go... Oh, guys! We got a Poison A bracelet! Um, these are really in right now. And... Yep, this is not fake. Like This is actual painted. I can feel it with my fingertip. This alone will probably give me at least $10. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, I saw other people get them, so I was pretty excited that I got them. I watch other um, blue box people who undo jewelry. I have, I have some favorites. Um, and that's they inspired me to get a box myself because I craft and I was like, you know what? I get jewelry to craft with. I can sell the jewelry that's good so I can afford the craft. <laughs> um, that's going to go in a bead lot. Mm. Yeah, that's going to go in a bead lot, guys. Okay. This feels... Interesting. Guys, this is the Tennessee box. Like, I'm shocked that I found that Michael Kors. Maybe they thought it was broken because of the, um... Because of the, um... Like, there, be, there being a rhinestone there and not here. Like, maybe they thought it was broken so they couldn't sell it. No, guys. That's how it was supposed to be. Um... These, like, ceramic... These don't feel cold to the touch, so I don't think they're jade pieces. But it is a very cute, pretty design. I'll do a couple dollars on that. Um, an earring. This is glass. I can feel that. And all the rhinestones seem to be there. Um, no branding. The class does have a little bit of wear. Kind of discolored there. But the pendant is really pretty. So, I will sell that. I, I'll do $5 on that for you guys. Um, this is actually a really pretty earring. And it is marked. It is marked. Something 925 Italy. So we have a little, pretty little mark, um, necklace. It's marked right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But something 925 Italy. I'll put that over there. That's good. This is why I said earlier looked like Brighton. I don't think it is. This is like a knockoff. Nice chain though. Like a faux onyx. It's not even real onyx. So it's like... Hmm. Yeah, it's faux. I don't think this is silver. But I'll check. Yeah, not silver. I'll do $3 on that probably. Or I'll see if my grandma actually might really want that. Ooh, butterfly. Okay, this is really pretty. 
Um, this is, even though this feels kind of lightweight and probably didn't sell for all that much in the store, I will sell this one. Ooh, hold up. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I will sell this on Depop or Etsy, and I will put, like, gothic romantic, steampunk, um, I'll just use those kind of keywords. This is very, very cool. I will actually sell that. Probably for about six, maybe five, but probably six. Because if, if I list things online for five dollars, it's really not worth it just because of shipping supplies and the time it takes. Okay, this is just going to go... I might put this in the dollar pile for now, but it'll probably end up in the craft eventually. Okay, we have another <gasps> hematite style wrap. Oh, look, we have lots of earrings up next in this. Okay, is that it? Yeah, okay. Um, guys, these are, these are slightly gritty. I can't Guys, these are slightly gritty too. So these might be a little um, cultured fresh water on hematite wrap. So it'll look something like look something like that when you wrap it up. That's cute. Um, if those are real pearls, I'll sell them online. If they're faux, I will just do a couple dollars on them. Earring, 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 earring. Okay. If this isn't something major, I will probably craft with this because I love rhinestone jewelry to craft with. Actually, you know what? That with that, um, those would look so good to. Oh, I mean, you can't see. Don't those look good together? Like I would almost be like sell those together, right? Kind of do like a little. Tiered. That's cute. Um, if I decide not to sell it with the butterfly thing, I will craft with it. This is unmarked. Um, I can't tell because Ollie smells jewelry. Um, I know it's very magnetic. It has like a chip on it. Um. It's also a very small wrist. I bet it's three fingers. I'll go craft. Oh wow, this is a huge, huge um, wrap bracelet. I'm assuming. Like this is huge, guys. Like, look at that. That is like a statement bracelet. Wow. Wait a minute. Where's my tape measure? Oh man, I don't have it out. That's got to be at least a like, I don't even know how big of a wrist that would be. But that's huge and in good shape. Um, yeah. Okay, I will sell that for, I mean, it has a nice weight to it. I'll do, um, do $4 on that. Okay, we have a little earring. We have a jump ring, I'm assuming. I don't think that's a ring. That's, well, I mean, it could be a thumb ring, but put it to the side. Oh, this is really pretty. This is kind of giving me like Joanne Rivers kind of vibe. Um, it is marked. Watch it be Joanne Rivers. No, something lane, park lane, park lane. I've heard of that. I have not found it or come across it yet, but park lane, single for now. And Goodwill blue boxes are notorious for getting a bunch of singles. This is gorgeous. Um, oh, wow, guys. It looks like all the rhinestones are there. This turns out to be nothing I will craft with it. But that is gorgeous. That in the sell online pile. Okay, this is a pretty earring. It's probably, like, you know pretty cheap, but it is pretty. Um, oh wow. I think that's glass. I think that's glass with like a full pearl inside of it. I don't know. Or a really, really hard acrylic. 
Um, no markings. That's cool. The for oh, the faux pearl is really bad shape. That's craft. And we have an owl earring. Those are cute. Let me put those back. This kind of gives is giving me like paparazzi vibes, but I don't know. Okay, the ear thing won't go back in it, but this is what it looks like. The ear wire. Hopefully we find the other match. If not, craft. Okay. So. This is actually marked 925 Italy, so I need to get this off. Oh, that's a... Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay, how do I untangle this without causing more? There we go. Okay, so this says... K-O-P-O? -O? Is that right? Uh, and it says happiness. Oh wow, there's multiple markings. It is marked K-R-M-M-925. Um, I don't think there's any markings on that little thing. And then it goes up slightly tangled they probably thought this was a kid's necklace because it said happiness on it let's get you focused so it says happiness don't mind the messy desk i'm sorry guys um kind of goes into this little piece and that kind of splits off and then it goes down and then it has this magnet on it and i believe the magnet is marked too Nine two five four, and then I can't read it. It does say something else after it, and then this says nine two five, Italy. Nine two five. Okay, so the clasp here is silver. The chain is silver. The pendant is silver. Then I believe this little magnet says 9254. Nine, and then Thailand, I believe. I believe that says Thailand. So that says 9254. And then I believe that says Thailand. Honestly, I don't know. This is for sure sell i will look up that brand and see you know what their stuff goes for i'm assuming a decent amount since it is 925 and it looks like it was very well made and i wonder if that's a pear dough maybe a pear dough or a topaz maybe that's sell we have a vintage shell necklace that's actually really cool um i'll do a couple dollars on that okay i think we're doing pretty good guys i this is much better so ooh, i love that i love that ring i am a ring person i love rings i'm honestly surprised i'm wearing just because it's so hot and I don't like wearing them um, because I think in my opinion they wear down faster in the heat but oh my goodness guys I love this and I am keeping this this is Hallmark I grandmother has a card this exact the card with this on it and she has this on um, her living room mirror set in the the frame and i have always loved it this is staying with me i'm gonna add this to when i get enough brooches to do a brooch jacket i love that so much oh my goodness okay it made a really good box turn even better 
this kind of feels like silver. It doesn't look like it though. Hmm. Okay, this looks like real turquoise. I don't know. I don't see any markings. No markings, but that looks like turquoise. It doesn't look like faux turquoise, but I could be mistaken. Mm, maybe it is faux turquoise. I don't know. This is cold to the touch. This one right here. Kind of looks like a fire opal. Has that look. And then this, I can't really feel. It's too small. Is it magnetic? That's the question. Where's my magnet? Guys, this is not magnetic. So this could be silver or at least silver plated. I'm trying to see if maybe there's markings on the veils. Don't see any guys. Usually I have not come across anything silver that wasn't marked silver. But maybe today's the day where it changes that. I'm going to put that in the cell for more than a couple dollar pile. Um, it's a little hammered. Come on. Little oh, hammered earring. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the cutest thing. Not Mart. Um, yeah, I already know who I'm giving this to. Yep, done. Um, put that there for now. Okay, we have this. I'm assuming it's missing. I'm a little confused. This looks like the back of the pendant. This looks like the front. But there's nothing there. It doesn't look like there was like there's no residue or anything. Like it... I'm very confused on this, guys. No markings on it. I don't know, guys. Um uh, I put that in this pile for now until I figure out what that is. Little marcasite earring, black rhinestone earring. Um, oh, look at these little owls. Oh my goodness, I love these. I love, love, love those. Okay. China necklace thing. Maybe not. Okay. We have a lot of singles, guys. We don't... <laughs> No matches so far, except for I think one, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's a little. This might be silver. Look at that right there. Okay. Why is my head keep hitting the tripod? Okay, so we have this little bracelet. It is a hook bracelet. Hooks. Like that. Um. Come on, focus. Says faith on it and a little cross. Um, just from a quick look, I don't see any markings. Um, there's no traction. Um, um, it is missing one rhinestone though. One rhinestone. Um, I would do a dollar on that. I mean, it's very hard to see. Some people may not care that it's missing a rhinestone. I wouldn't sell it online, but I will sell it here. And how do you guard sell? Okay, this is interesting. Very, very interesting. This is an earring. It's very tangly. It's odd. Okay. So this I thought might be silver. Let's see. It is marked. Where's my magnifying glass? It is marked. I swear that's a mark. I can't. I don't know. It might be just a small dent. 
me show you. It looks like it is marked right there. Right there and that right above or right below that hook. But I cannot tell what it says. I'm thinking this is silver. But I'll put it with the singles for now. Oh, we have little um little crystal earring. Ooh. Okay. Little crystal earring. Oh, this is Mart. Avon. It's very pretty. We have another earring. A lot of earrings. Well, let's just go through the earrings at the end. Guys, I've been looking on the um, Shop Goodwill site to buy another like um, crafting jewelry lot. Oh my goodness, it the prices are going higher than like what you could even make with the jewelry. Like, how are you going to spend one hundred and sixty dollars on a fourteen pound jewelry lot? Like that makes zero sense to me. This is craft. Um. Yeah, I don't know why people are betting up these prices. Okay, we have the match to this, guys. So that's cool. Of course, it wasn't the marked one, but that's okay. Never is. Okay, so we have a pen. Um, I do not remember what the yellow pen stands for. I don't think this is a yellow ribbon. I think this is just a yellow bow. I don't think this is part of like the the cancer and or the awareness. I don't think that's a awareness bow. I would do a couple of dollars on that. Um, we have a bangle. No markings. But again, I will make a lot with them. Earring. Earring. This is an interesting earring. Oh, Earring. We have a BFF necklace. I do not sell them. I don't, Even if it has the match, I don't sell them. Um, but do check them though for silver because I mean, yep, what did I say? Okay, this is Mart. Oh no, it's Mart JCMS Steel China. So this is stainless steel. Got excited there for a second. I was like, oh, we found some silver. Let me check the chain. Yeah, so craft. Someone will be able to make something fun with it. It's not going to be me. Earring. A little chain that looks like it was. Okay, it's very magnetic. Craft. Ah. Okay, let me. Okay, this looks like it's just a faux gold. Yeah. So we just have a faux gold. But I, um, even faux gold chain sell, so put that in the sell for a couple dollar pile. This is a really pretty little pen. Um, is that a mark? No. I'll do a couple of dollars on that. Little crystal earring. Guys, I was at, um, the gym today. I have a Planet Fitness membership. And, um, I tried out a new machine. And it like works the your back, and it literally feels like I've been carrying bricks all day. My back hurts so bad. This is just going craft. Um, I just my back hurts so bad from that machine. I mean, it's supposed to like it literally. I think is the that job. Oh, this is Mark. This is Mark nine two five. Just missing the other end of it though. But this is Mart 925, guys. Let's... So we have a little crystal, AB. But the clasp right there is Mark 925. Um, I don't think the magnet part is. But like I said, it is missing. Well, I guess I can just take this off. Hold up. Let's see, is this part magnetic? The spring is magnetic and the, oh, maybe the beads are magnetic. I don't know guys, the clasp is Mark 925, but the rest, everything else is magnetic. So 
But I think I would still sell the online and just put 925 markings. Not that it, you know. This looks cool. I actually really like this. It's not my, you know, I wouldn't keep this, but I would sell that for a couple dollars. We have an earring. I'm only like, looking at the back, so the ones I thought might might be silver. This is really pretty. Um, no marks. I will probably craft with that. This is going to go in the craft. It's not marks, and I probably could sell it for a couple dollars, but uh, it's worth more to me to craft with than it is to sell for a dollar or two. This is actually a really cool and heavy earring clip on. Is this magnetic? It's not magnetic, but I don't think it's silver. I think I got an earring like this. Oh, this is broken. I think. I want to say I don't know. Okay. It's another choker that's just going to go in a craft. This is very tarnished. I don't think this is silver. I mean, maybe it is silver and that's why it's tarnished. I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is silver plated. I feel like this is silver plated in the, well, like the beads are, see I mean how I mean it looks like it's plated. So I don't know, guys. What do you think? I'm putting craft. We have a band. I was hoping maybe like a silver band, but it's not. It's kind of small, but I actually kind of like it. Like that'd be a cool ring to wear like that. I might wear that for the rest of the video. Um, oh, we have another ring. Oh, yeah, I saw this ring when I was pulling it out, but got sidetracked with other things. This is Mart. This is Mart. Something seven. This is Mart to several places, guys. I think this is Jade. Guys, I think that's Jade. I don't know, though. I'm not an expert when it comes to gemstones. They don't really look like diamonds. They look like rhinestones to me. So maybe it's faux jade and faux diamonds. Um, that's really gorgeous. Let me see if I can get a close-up of the band where it says something. You can see that. Like L? No, it's upside down. See 14? I can't tell. I don't know. I'm going to take a screenshot so I can. I don't know. I took it. Try to take a screenshot so hopefully. Looks like it says. I don't know. Is this magnetic? Okay, it is not magnetic. I mean, it is magnetic. So if it is something, it's just plated. But that is a gorgeous ring. I would, I might keep that if it's not something major. Just to add to my lot, my set. Okay, so we got, got two rings on my fingers. Okay. Okay, this is a pretty little earring. It has a little bit of weight to it. This might be silver, guys. Back is Mart. S A Q. So if anyone knows what that means, S A Q, please let me know. A little pretty earring. Okay. This is really cool. I love this. This is vintage, or at least they put a lot of work into this to make it look vintage. Well, it is slightly cold. It's not cold, cold. It's slightly cold. So I'm assuming it's assuming it's glass, not onyx. 
Um, but even if it's just glass, like this is really cool. I is this magnetic? I think it is. It's not magnetic. Guys, this might be silver. I don't think it is. But I'm gonna sell that. Online. I don't know how much yet. If you're interested, let me know. Okay, we have a little beaded choker. I'll do a dollar on that. Um I think we have the match to this one too. We got two matches now. A little long dangle earring. A little pave earring. I remember getting these from my grandmother. She probably still has them. I think she still wears them actually. Oh look guys, this looks like it goes with that key and heart kind of. This is really nice. Um thought there was like initials but I don't think so I'll sell that because the um the, the church fundraiser thing where my aunt told me I could get a booth um someone from the church might want to buy that for their I think whatever this went to, it was sold at Dillard's because it says Dillard's on the back of it. <laughs> I don't know if it went to this or not, but I'm just going to put it on there for now. Nope, that did not go with that. But this, this is glass. This is really pretty. Oh, look, guys, we have this. This might be something. No, the hook is a different color. But it's really cool looking. I love the look of it. Like, look how cool that is. That's cool. Okay. It's taking too long. I think we have a match to this now. I think this, we had a match to this too. This might be silver too, guys. Hold up. It's no markings, but this looks like onyx. And usually onyx is in silver. So, take a closer look at that later. Um, we have a express but the finish is pretty worn on the back but it is the back so um i wonder what chain this one did it go with one of those um one of those gold chains i'll put it in this all online for now but probably end up going in the um you know if we don't get a craft match oh look we have a match um, I wonder if this goes to the, um, we had a red, white, and blue butterfly. I wonder if that goes with it. I don't know. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Hold up. Is this marked? There's a lot of really good things in this lot. This has a lot of verdigree on it. This will probably go in craft, but hopefully I can find the match and I can craft with that together. Um... This is plastic. They're all plastic. This has a hang tag and it's Avon. It is marked Avon, but it is plastic. I don't, I'll put it in there for a dollar. And if it sells, it sells. Oh wow, look at this purple tassel guys. That's cool. Little purple tassel. We have a blue studded heart, blue rhinestone on a Suede or faux suede. Okay, we have a earring, plastic. Oh look, I think we had the match to this. Right? Maybe not. They all kind of look the same. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay guys, um, this is the rest. Oh, well, we had this. I didn't even open this. This is glass. I believe this is glass. And it's broken, I think. Unless that is the... 
That might be the hole. I don't know. Yeah, that is the hole. Um, this is, I think this is glass. I'll do $3 on that. We're almost done, guys. I love this box. This box had so many good things in it. Um, not, you know, too many huge, like, selling things. I actually didn't really have that many. Oh, compared to other boxes, it was pretty good, I think. Um, definitely worth $40, I think. Okay, that is everything in here. What is it? Okay. Okay. So we have a ooh, we have a faux turquoise necklace just checking for marks even faux turquoise can be put on silver it kind of has this kind of has a look to silver to me like not really the class per se but this right here kind of had the silver look um this is really cool it's marked I don't know what that marking means to you. Let me know in the comments if you know what that marking is. Is it silver? No, guys, it's not magnetic. These have the sterling look. But not very tightly strong. It's the only, you know, thing with that. It's definitely not real turquoise it's but it is slightly cold so it might be i don't know what that is online happily ever after once upon a time that's a cute little charm oh someone will craft with it um oh wow this is interesting p-e-p-i Computer. So this is marked. I will look that up online. Ooh, 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 cute. I love this. I wish this was real. Um, yeah. Okay, bling, bling. Okay, we have an earring. Don't know if we have the match to that one or not. It doesn't look like we have a match to that sterling one, unfortunately. This is the one I thought looked like um, sterling on Marcus site. A little faux, little faux earring. Oh, we have a match to the clips, and they're in pretty decent shape. I see that as half the backing is broken on that one. Um, I'll probably still sell them. We're gonna put earrings. Let's try. Oh, this looks like silver. It's not though. I don't think. Maybe. This is Mark Stir. I believe that's what it says right there. And it has a little let me turn the brightness up on this. Can this go any brighter? No. Trying to, sorry guys, I'm trying to take a screenshot so I can look this up. Um, oh, guys, we have the match. These might be, 
out, guys. I made that huge deal thinking they were Mark Sterling. Ha! Huh. Nope, they're Mark Napier. These are Mark Napier. N-A-P-I-E-R. So I highly doubt these are silver. But I will sell them. Vintage Napier can go for a decent amount. More than you would think. Oh. Just trying to see if anything that grabs my attention is... So oh, cool if we have a little flower. Let's bring all this over here and put matches up here. Look, we have the other one of this. Oh, here's a little bracelet. Not marked. Not marked or anything. Um, I'll probably do a dollar on that. That's nothing. Dollar or craft. Um, I don't think we have a match of that. Oh, I'll look at this ring, guys. This is definitely not my style. <laughs> um, but I'm sure it is someone. I'm sure it's someone's style. I'll do a dollar for that. Oh, is this Amber? PD. This is Premier Designs, I believe. Right? That's not what that means. A little PD in the back. Um, do we have a match? That's the question. Look, we have an L. It's different than the other L. We have an apple pen. I'll do a couple dollars on that. We have an elephant um, charm. It must have fallen off something. I don't think he's sterling. Where's my magnet? No, he is very magnetic. Um, put him right to the side for now. Okay, guys, let's try and match these up. Okay. Oh, wait, where's the other ones? This is craft. I don't even care if I have the match or not. doesn't look like it. But we have a little handmade. That's going craft. Okay, let's try and match these up because we have a lot of earrings, guys. I think, yeah, we got a lot of earrings. That's a craft. Um, we have no match of this, so craft. Um, no match to this, so craft. Well, here's a, oh, this is pretty, guys. This is actually really pretty. Um, just checking, because like I said, some of these can be sterling or something. It's not marked, but I would still do a couple dollars. So I'll say two dollars on this one. Little bracelet. It's too small for my wrist, but I'd say that's like a four inch, five and a half, five inch wrist. Um, this is Mark Daisy. Daisy 20s? Daisy 20s. I think that's what that says. I don't think we have a match, though. This is very cool. It looks like that goes together. Oh, guys, I love this. I love this vintage rhinestone. Okay, I'm going to pause you, and I'll try and match up earrings, and I will bring you back. Okay, guys, you're back. Um, So, these are all of the unmatched earrings. None of these have matches. None of them. None of them have matches. Um... So, yeah. Unfortunately, none of these. I really wanted to match to this one. But that didn't happen. Um, yeah, none of those. So, the ones that do have matches are these little, these little, these little owls. Um, these like gold tone, brassy tone, gold tone, I don't know what they are. Um, these, these Marcusites, these Napiers, 
these like half gold, half rhinestone. That's it. All of this is singles. However, along with those singles, I found three special singles. This is a 925 rhinestone, maybe something else, I don't know. Articulated earring, Mark 925 with a pearl. And that's Mark 925 on the back of the earring and on the earring back. 925. Um, this was a 925 necklace or um, earring. And it's pretty weighty. Like this weighs a little bit. So, yeah. And then this little guy is marked something. <laughs> I cannot read what it says, but I am hoping for gold. It's not going to focus on me, is it? Um, this marked marked right there it's not going to focus on it um i'm thinking gold but even if it is gold it's very 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 little bit of it but hey you know so unfortunately that is it um i found these mixed in with the earrings these are all rings well this you already saw um and this is the one i was wearing and these must have been like a little pack of rings because these are all like faux stainless steel, aluminum, whatever, faux pearl. Um, I think he already saw this dude. This is a little tie pin that I found mixed in. Um, this is a gold leaf pendant. I don't believe it's real gold, but I will test it. And then I think you already saw the elephant. And that's it, guys. That is all. So this is the sell online. Hopefully, or look up. To sell online or look up. This is stuff to sell for in between a dollar to five dollars. And this is craft. I think we did pretty good. And then, of course, this will all end up craft if I don't find more matches. Or find more gold or silver. Hopefully. Um, and then this also. This little, this little thing. I gotta figure out what it says on the chain because it is marked i just can't read it all right guys so i hope that was fun to watch i probably have like a pound right here in just single earrings <laughs> um hopefully you guys had fun watching that and hopefully i will have more i have one more coming i ordered one um when did I order this one? It would be one week from when I ordered this one. So, May the 28th. Um, I believe the 3rd. I ordered another one on the 3rd. 3rd or 4th, whatever. Um, so I have another one coming. And I got a notification today saying that it shipped. And of course, I will try and go for another box next Friday. Um, did anyone... Was anyone shocked that they were available for sale for like two or three minutes after um after six like it went on for a good three minutes two and a half three minutes i was shocked i got mine um my box like as soon as it hit nine o'clock or six o'clock and i like refreshed the page a couple times thinking like should i buy another box should i not buy another box and then i decided not to get another box i decided one was enough I have a limit. I can get one blue box a month or one blue box a week, not two, no more, just one, a one a box. The only thing I'm thinking though is, um, is maybe buying a, like another box and start saving the second box to, um, have on weeks that I didn't get a box, you know, um, that's a thought that way i always have one box to open for you guys once a week. But, hey guys, um, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, um, if you like this kind of content, blue box unboxings, shop goodwill haul, um, shop goodwill jewelry lot boxes, um, 
I also will be doing thrift hauls hopefully soon. I went to the thrift store today and I got a couple good things. Um, not really enough to do a haul per se, but maybe. Maybe I'll save it for this trip and next trip. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and please again hit that like and subscribe. Have a great day!